keep it clean uh, yeah. Team, keep it clean uh, yeah. On your screen uh, yeah. The ravens on your screen uh, yeah. And if you see uh, the yeah. ravens on your screen uh, yeah. Nine times out of ten uh, YouTube, ravens team, keep it clean What's going on? It's Sam Raven here with another video And in this video, as you all know Today is a day where Justin Houston is scheduled to visit the Baltimore Ravens so the Baltimore Ravens are going to get an opportunity to sell themselves to Justin Houston, and he's going to get an opportunity to sell himself to the Baltimore Ravens. And of course, we all hope that this thing goes really, really good. Um, Justin Houston, uh, a good pass rusher. And, and like we said before, when we spoke about him, he is a finisher. And not only a finisher, but a consistent finisher. And that's what we've been lacking at the pass rush department for, for years. For years. It's been a very long time since we had a consistent finisher as a pass rusher. And no, sacks are not everything. Trust me, sacks are not everything. Pressure is the real deal. Because pressure, it messes up a quarterback. It, it, it messes up the clock in their head. Pressure is the real deal. But sacks, they just, they can be that. They, they can be very, very sweet. A nice little cherry on top. But he, he does both. <laughs> so, <laughs> and he's good at run defense too. So this video... This video serves as a plea from me personally to the Baltimore Ravens. But before we get into this, I love y'all. I really love y'all. Uh, we've gotten a lot of positive messages from people, especially over these past couple of days. Um, and, and it's a beautiful thing that y'all are sharing your positivity with other people, man. I, I appreciate that. We appreciate that. They appreciate that. Keep doing that. Don't stop. Don't stop. People going through stuff right now, man. Y'all know. Y'all know people personally. And I know some of y'all even personally are going through stuff, man. Be there for people. Be there for people. Time, whether it's time, whether it's whatever, just listening, a listening ear makes a big difference. Please do that for people. Um, but anyway, I did say this video serves as uh, one last plea for the Baltimore Ravens. And what I mean when I say that is I just... I, I don't want them to pass up on a potential difference maker. Like a, a potential difference maker just to hold on to a comp pick. Because I, I know they love their comp picks. I know they do. I know they do. We know y'all love them comp picks. Ravens, Eric DaCosta, Ozzy Newsome still in the building. Everybody, we know y'all love the comp picks. We appreciate that. And, and, and a couple years ago when that rule came out, that they were like, okay, you guys can trade comp picks. Now, you know, the Ravens were like, yes. They were probably the ones that pushed for that rule. But in this case, again, Super Bowl window. Not that once you pay Lamar, it's over. Because it's certainly not. But it's just, it's going to make it harder to build around them. It's going to make it a little bit harder to, to put pieces around them once you pay Lamar. But this is why if you, could, if you got the opportunity to get a potential difference maker and a, a proven, excuse me, not a proven difference maker, proven guy, take it. Please take it. Because as we know, like I said, every year, this happens every single year. Guys are out there in the market. Guys are free agents. They're free agents. And then once one team is interested... It's like, oh, okay. Now another team's interested. Then another team's interested. And, another, another, and, and that's how it works. It happens every year with different guys at different positions. Justin, I, I'm just, I'm scared that with Justin, and, and this is, and, and you could, you know, the Ravens really love this dude because y'all remember they tried to sign him two years ago. They tried to sign this dude two years ago, and he obviously chose the Colts. So this is the Ravens circling back around, unless. For some reason, this is a smoke screen. I don't think it is, but you always got to have that possibility in the back of your head. But I don't think it is. But with Justin Houston, that, that, this is them circling back around. And you know when it comes to pass rushers, they will circle back around. They did it with Yannick Ngakwe. They did it with Jadavian Clowney. They will circle back around. So I just, I, I do not want, if they're really interested in this guy, you know what he can do. We talked about the numbers yesterday, and even though numbers don't tell the whole story, ooh, they sure tell a good chunk of it, especially in his case. What he could do for the team. What we need, a glaring hole right now. 
is at the pass rush position. Right now, our pass rushers, we got Bowser, we got Pernell McPhee, we got Jalen Ferguson. So, uh, oh, we, well, Jelly is not really a pass rusher. He's an interior defensive lineman, along with Brandon Williams, um, Broderick Washington, too. Uh, and Calais Campbell, he's a little bit of both, but he's not really a pass rusher, pass rusher. But, yeah. So we, we clearly have a lack at that department. We clearly have a lack in that department. So I just really, really, Ravens, please. Because I just feel like this dude is going to slip away. He's, he's going to get scooped up by somebody. <laughs> you just know it's going to He's going to get scooped up by If the Ravens don't make this move, he's going to get interest from somebody. And they're going to be like, hey, Justin Houston, we know what you can do. Come on. We don't care about them comp picks. And it's not that the comp picks are bad, but the comp picks are just a maybe. They're a maybe. They're a big maybe. Like, oh, well, maybe they, they whoever we draft could work out. Because sometimes it has for the Ravens, other times it hasn't. It's just an unknown. But with Justin Houston, like, you get, <laughs> you get a player that, oh, man, it's, it's a fit, man. It's a fit. My guys, uh, ah. Uh, NFL Ogden and uh, Devin, oh, I, I don't want to butcher his last name. Uh, I'm going to try to read it one time, and if I don't get it right, Penchwa. I think it's uh, my, my apologies, my boy. I, I'm sorry if I messed up your last name. They were just talking about it, about what uh, Justin Houston could do for these Baltimore Ravens. And my guy uh, Devin made a really good point uh, when, it, when they were talking about him being a good run defender. He said he has that value over Yannick Ngakwe. Because we know Yannick, he was a really good pass rusher. Good pass rusher. But run defense wasn't his thing. You bring in a Justin Houston, who can defend the run? Why not? Strike a deal, please, Ravens. Please. Because it just makes too much sense. Don't let him go. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. If... You want another pick? Just I I don't know, man. Just don't, don't let him get away. If you're gonna trade Orlando Brown Jr., you about to get picked. So like, let that take over for the comp pick. If you're gonna trade, over, I mean, I'd rather them keep Orlando Brown Jr. But if you're gonna trade him, you about to come up on some picks anyway. So let let this like sort of cancel that out. Cancel out you losing the comp pick from when you trade Orlando Brown. I I don't know, man. But no, seriously, I just I I, I don't want them to lose an opportunity like this. Because you're trying to win. You're trying to build the best team that you possibly can. The comp pick, and you're trying to do that this year. This year. The comp picks are not until next year. And they're not even set in stone what round they're going to be in. They should be fourth round comp picks. And you'll have one that's a third round comp pick, the David Coley one. That's a guarantee. But for Matt Judon and, and Yannick Ngakwe, they should be fourth round comp picks. But. But it's just, it's, it's not even a guarantee, man. Get, get Justin Houston, man. <laughs> Please just get him, man. Please just get him. We don't ask for much. Well, actually, yeah, we do. We, we ask for a lot. <sighs> we'll keep y'all posted. Hopefully, uh, I, I got a feeling what the title of the next video is going to be based on later today. But I, I'm not going to say anything. Um, cause I just, I don't want it to be that, but I got a feeling it's going to be just that. So I already know what I expect. And I know a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about already. Uh, when it comes to Justin Houston and the Ravens, but we'll see when we get there. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. And hopefully later on, like Justin Houston won't be without a deal. I'm out. Going fit, and yeah, we keep it clean. Cause we rockin' with engraving, and we rockin' with the Ravens, yeah.